Hi, I'm Matt Wilcox. I'm 25. I'm from Anaheim, California, currently attending Maharishi University in Fairfield, Iowa, and I am a sun gazer. Could you uh, just tell us a little bit about what, what sun gazing is? Well, basically, um, it is what it sounds like. You gaze at the sun. Um, you do it during certain periods of the day when it's safe, though. Oh, the sun is very dangerous to look at. You, you lose your vision. You can go blind or whatnot. It's not good to look at it because it could get dangerous. Why is that? Because of the ultraviolet light, ultraviolet rays. The UV, the UV rays, I was told that. Um, are you aware that there's no UV rays within 45 minutes of it rising or setting? Didn't know that. I wasn't aware of that. No. Okay, let me correct myself and make one thing very clear. Most of the time, between 45 minutes of the sun rising or setting, the UV index is at zero. But sometimes it still can be low. So, it's always recommended to check the UV index before you gaze. All right, so it's 8.15 p.m. At 8.05, this was updated. UV index zero. Sunset 8.28 p.m. No matter what, if you're, if you're looking at it, no matter what time it is, if it's not comfortable, don't look at it. Use your instincts. Explain to us from step one or step A to Z, like what is, what is it that you do when you sun gaze? What you do is you gaze at the sun with the bare feet and you start with 10 seconds your first day, 20 your second, 30 your third day, and so on, up to 44 minutes. You work your way back down from 44 minutes. You take off 10 seconds, back down to 15 minutes. And from there, you can do it for 15 minutes um, whenever you'd like. When you're done sun gazing, the ideal thing is to close your eyes until the image goes away or cover your eyes until the image goes away and that's about it all right now how long have you been sun gazing today will be 12 minutes and 50 seconds that I'll be staring at the Sun and you progressively go up 10 seconds every day yeah 10 seconds every day that I sun gaze yes are there what are the benefits well um, sun gazing has many benefits um, other than the fact that it just feels so good um, it has, it has health benefits, um, and it has been, it has been said to be a path to enlightenment. What do you think attracted you there? I don't know. Um, I guess my soul was attracted to sun gazing, and I think sun gazing was attracted to me. I think that it really finds you. Uh, to your knowledge, is there any, any body out there that you've known to have sun gazed and become enlightened? Are there any stories? The most famous sun gazer um, is alive today. Um, he goes by the name of HRM and you can look him up. They did a study on him where they watched him day and night for 411 days and he did not eat. He only drank boiled water. All his vitals were fine, his body was fine. The only thing that they found was that his pineal gland was larger than the average person. I wanted to know what was going on with my brain while I was sun gazing. So I decided to consult with Dr. Travis and get an EEG on me. So my name is Fred Travis. I'm director of the Center for Brain, Consciousness and Cognition here at Maharshi University of Management. So um, what are the results of my EEG? So what we did is we looked at what your brain was doing when you were just looking at another object, looking at the tree and then looking at the sun.
The dots that we're seeing are where the brain waves were recorded. So when you had all the sensors on your head, there's a line between the dots if those parts of the brain are working together. So this is when you're looking at the tree, what you're seeing is the frontal areas are mostly active because the perceptual field is relatively, it's not changing, it's not very important. Let's look what's happening when you're looking at the sun. What we're seeing again, it's the frontal areas are still active, but there's much more, especially here in the lower end theta, in terms of the focus is much deeper, is much stronger, and also here um, and the level of gamma. And notice it's not only in the front, but also there's quite a bit of activity in the back. The whole brain has become a little bit more activated. Now the overall impression you see here is there's much more coherence, it's, it's more red. That means there's much higher coherence when looking at the sun. Specifically, look again here at the gamma, fast frequencies between almost all parts that we measure. Just the whole brain, the gamma activity is much higher. The attention is much more on the object. Also interesting here in the theta, there's increased focus. And also, this is the two alphas. Notice alpha 2 has much more coherence when looking at the sun. So pretty much to sum it up, um, more brain was used while looking at the sun compared to looking at a, an object farther, far away, like a tree. Yep. Yeah. While knowing what's going on in my brain while I'm sun gazing was very interesting, I still have one important question to tackle. Is there a way I can safely look at the sun or have my eyes been damaged? I decided the only way to truly know if my eyes have been damaged or not is to get the most thorough eye exam possible by some of the best doctors in the country. So, I headed to the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics to the Department of Ophthalmology and Visual Sciences where I was helped by resident Dr. Christopher Watts and Dr. Tim Johnson who are both ophthalmologists. 